Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to Olive Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have Zoya's Intriguing Collection. This was their winter collection for 2020 slash 2021. It came out in October. It's January. I'm just reviewing it now. I hope you don't hate me. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm really excited to share this question with you. I found it very intriguing. Um, so let's dive in and look at the swatches of these polishes and then I'll come back at the end and talk a little bit about my favorites and my thoughts on the whole collection. I'm trying a slightly different swatch style in this video so I would love your thoughts in the comments about whether you like this style, um, it's a little bit more up close to the nails than I typically get, um, or whether you prefer my previous style which was kind of the split screen between the swatch live swatch and the swatch photo. Okay let me know in the comments but let's dive into the swatches. Okay first up we're gonna look at the absolutely gorgeous brett this one is described by zoya as a deep charcoal indigo cream and they say it's intensity five and you can definitely see in this formula it's really really smooth it goes on super opaquely uh, you know kind of what we expect from a zoya cream at this point in our lives and i love this one i would say i think in person it's a little bit dustier than it's coming in these like super bright lights. I mean, definitely in super bright lights, it looks like this, but I think in my like normal everyday lighting, it's a little bit dustier. I do love the color here though. It's just this absolutely gorgeous blue. And I'm really excited to compare it because I do think that it's less purple than Sailor. And I think it's more of that like indigo color than Natty is, whereas Natty is more of like a denim. So really excited to do comparisons on this. I think the formula is super great. Um, I mean, I know that that's kind of expected with Zoya creams like this one at this point, but two coats is what I would expect for this one. Um, I do think you could probably get away with one coat, maybe if you have the like wide brush and you're really careful with your application. I did get a little bit of patchiness, but that's probably mostly due to, um, you know, how much polish I had on my brush and how much I kind of like smoothed it over the surface. So that's Brett. Okay, Soko is another cream formula in this collection. This is described as a wintry poinsettia red cream, um, also intensity five. Reds tend to be a little bit more translucent uh, because they have, you know, just a little bit less of that like intense base color. And so this one is a little bit like thinner. You get a really nice coverage on the nail though. I don't think it's streaky. I don't think it runs and pools. I think it's really easy to work with, um, but you are gonna want two coats just to get all the way to opacity. Uh, and depending on your nails and how long they are and how, you know, kind of like much your nail line stands out, you might even want three coats, but I really like this one. I do think it is just the most perfect classic holiday red. And so I think it's just a beautiful color. I wore this one to my work holiday party on Zoom, of course, so probably no one even noticed, <laughs> but I noticed, um, and it was really mesmerizing. I don't wear red that often, but something about this one I thought worked really well with my skin tone. I don't think it's super orange, nor is it super blue. I think it's just like a really nice holiday red. Yeah, and you can see in two coats here, it is building up pretty well. Um, I think especially when it dries down, it, it like, you know, kind of, um, gets a little bit even more opaque. You can see just the tiniest hair of that line for me, but it's really stark on my nails. So maybe not on yours. Oh my goodness. Next up is Regina. And I just think the only thing that I have to say about this polish is that it is stunning. I absolutely love it. Um, I think Zoya describes this one as having uh, an emerald shimmer. They actually don't have it on the website right now, but they did last night. <laughs> um, if you um, watch my stories on Instagram, you know that I had to record these voiceovers twice because of a little bit of a technical malfunction. And last night, Regina was on the website, but today it's not. So I'm not sure why, and I can't get the exact description from Zoya, but I do believe it's something like an emerald uh, shimmer. And I would say that this is like a very strong emerald shimmer, and the base is almost black. I think you can especially see that here when it's just one coat. It is a little bit thinner, you know, so that you can see that shimmer in the base, which does not bother me at all uh, because it does build up really well in two coats. So you'll see on my pointer finger here, it's like totally perfect in two coats. This formula is really easy to work with. Um, you know, it is a little bit thinner because it has to be so that you can see those um, shimmers in here, but it doesn't like run or pool. I had no problems. And I don't find it super streaky. I, I think any streakiness that you're kind of seeing here just goes away when it dries down. So I think when you see my swatch photo, you'll see that 
it does look very cohesive. It doesn't really show those streaks uh, once it dries down. And wow, y'all, I just think this one is stunning. I was sure that Zoya had one like it in its collection when I saw the promo photos. And then once I saw it in real life and I wore it, I was like, nope, this one is super unique. So stunning. Okay, another shimmery one. This is Nico, and Zoya describes Nico as a celadon toned pearl with a touch of silver shimmer blended in. And I think you really see that silver. Like it just makes this one look so cool toned, and yet you still get that kind of like celadon greeny yellow color. I think it's so fun. Um, I, I, yeah, I really like this kind of concept for a polish. I don't love this polish on my nails. I just, I don't love this color. I think cooler toned um, metallics like this tend to not be my favorite. Um, and I just don't wear a lot of this like kind of yellowy gold color. I'm gonna show you it built up in two coats. I, I do think that you can still see a little bit of my nail line here. Again, my nail line is very, very um, stark. And so if your nails are shorter or your nail line is not as intense, then you might not see that nail line as much. I also think when you're kind of like moving this one around um, and in my swatch photo, I think you don't see that nail line as much because the light reflects off that shimmer. So I do think two coats is enough for Nico. Okay, here's another one that I'm just absolutely obsessed with this one is nisha and this one is described as a deep royal blue violet metallic and it definitely has that kind of blue violet tone to it you know it's it's got a very much like is it blue is it purple vibe i do think that in the bottle i got more of that vibe and then once it was on my nails i got a really really strong blue vibe like i just i think that the purple kind of faded a little bit for me and it looked very very strongly blue this one's very pretty. It's definitely a cool toned purple. So it's not, um, you know, I think Zoya has some others that are at first blush, they look similar, but the purple is a little bit warmer toned. This one is very cool toned. The formula on this one is very opaque. So you can see my first coat is like almost perfect. That's because this formula I think is a little bit thicker than some of their other shears. It just felt, yeah, it felt like it had more <laughs> body I don't, I don't know if that's the right way to describe this but i do think that it is a little bit of a thicker formula and i did find that it had a tendency to kind of um pool around my nails and so when i actually wore this polish i did much thinner coats and i still got opacity in two coats but i had to be very intentional about doing thinner coats did i just say intentional had to be intentional you know what i mean this is nisha it's gorgeous Okay, here's Eunice, and this is described as a chartreuse metallic green. And now friends, when I saw the promo pictures of this one, I was like, oh, I am not gonna like that nail polish. <laughs> I love chartreuse, and so I don't know why I assumed I wouldn't like this one, but I just, you know, metallics tend to not be my favorite. I just don't love them as much as I love other finishes. And this color is kind of intense, not gonna lie. But I actually loved it. I loved it, I, I really do. I don't know that I would say this is like a winter polish for me, but it is really fun. And Zoe describes this one as intensity three, which is the same as how they describe Nico. But I think that this one is way more opaque than Nico, maybe just because it doesn't have that silver in it. It's a little bit more of like a, you know, the finish is the same all the way across the, the polish. But I think this one is very opaque. Again, it's not a streaky metallic. It goes on super easily and it's really, just like a dream to apply so i think this one gets super opaque in two coats i didn't have the same problem of kind of like running and pooling that i had with nisha because it's a little bit of a thinner formula but not in a bad way like in a good way <laughs> so that's two coats of eunice okay here's one that i'm very excited to do comparisons of this one is coley zoya describes this one as a ruby pink metallic i got a lot of metallics <laughs> in this collection um i do feel like I've seen this polish before. Like this one just doesn't feel as unique to me, but I'm excited to compare it because a lot of times Zoya, you know, kind of, I don't know, they surprise me. Um, but this one has a really nice formula. It's very opaque on that first coat, not quite as thin and, um, you know, like streaky as a couple of the other ones that we've looked at. I will say that this one doesn't have as much like body. It's a little bit thinner kind of on the nail. You get that like wash of color without the kind of volume. Um, but I often find that in, in red polishes that that happens. So not super surprised. I would say this one has like a 
blue toned shimmer maybe it's a little bit hard to describe i think the base is this like fiery kind of fuchsia ruby red but then it has that like blue kind of blue hinted shimmer in there so this one's really interesting um i do think it's pink i think it looks more kind of red in this video but when you see the swatch photo there we go it looks a little more pink okay here we go here is another shimmery polish lots of those in this collection like i said this one is lottie and zoe describes this one as a soft champagne pearl with a hint of glistening shimmer blended in and they say this one is intensity three so they say this one eunice and nico are the same intensity i think i disagree i think i disagree with that um but i do think this one is a really pretty polish i don't tend to love this kind of like pearly sheer wintry polish on me but i do think it looks like freshly fallen snow i think it's gorgeous in the bottle um but i think on me they just make my the tips of my nails look super super yellow which is like not the most flattering look i don't think um i'm gonna show you this one built up in two coats but i do think that you might want it in three depending on the look that you're going for um in my swatch photo you're gonna see it built up in three coats so it's two in the live swatch here um you can see it's still pretty sheer but just has that really nice sparkle and then here it is in three coats almost opaque but not quite okay this is one that i think people were very excited about because it is a new pixie dust for the first time in a very long time um this is isti and isti is described as a wintry steel blue textured pixie dust with a pop of brilliant royal blue for added vibrancy and i do think you really see that royal blue in here um i mean especially when it's wet and it's not dried down and it's not like solidified you know the pixie dusts kind of tend to come together <laughs> once they're dried down um but you really see that silver you see the gray kind of steely blue and you see the royal blue all at once in here this is uh one of their original pixie dust formulas so it's a little bit mm, kind of smaller textured particles it doesn't have those bigger hex glitters the chunkier glitters that you find in like the magical pixie dusts this is my preferred pixie dust finish I found it a little bit tricky to apply on the first coat. I just wasn't getting even like particles um, kind of on my brush. Like I, I had the same amount of polish, but I was getting slightly different distribution on my nails. I did think that it kind of built up perfectly fine in two coats, not a problem, but I did notice that on the first coat, which was interesting. Um, pixie dust for me tend to take a little bit longer to dry because you can't put a top coat on them or you can, but you won't get the textured effect. They definitely dry you know like relatively quickly but they do take a little bit longer um to get them all the way dried down to that textured finish which you're seeing right here and then in my swatch photo there it is there's that texture okay meredith is up next it is described as a twinkling midnight sapphire blue with an icy light blue shimmer this one is described as intensity five this one has a really opaque formula it's really really nice um it's very easy to work with i love the shimmer in here <laughs> it's a little bit um you know it's like bigger particles so you can really see that shimmer on the nail it really definitely gives you a very sparkly vibe this is not like a subtle shimmer um, but i think it's really interesting because the shimmer is not super contrasting with the base and yet you still get a lot of sparkle i think because those particles are just a little bit bigger um, but i love the color of this polish i love the finish of this polish i love the sparkle in this polish i love the formula on this polish yeah i love pretty much everything about this polish i think it's gorgeous um i wore it uh recently and was obsessed with it <laughs> i just yeah was obsessed um i did find that this formula was a little bit thicker um and i did have a little bit just like the tiniest bit of um kind of pooling on my nails like around the sides so when i went back and decided to wear this recently i tried to do thinner coats and i still got coverage in two coats but i didn't get the same pooling so i just think it's kind of a, a little bit of a th thicker formula and so if you give it thinner coats you'll still get the lovely shimmer that's in meredith um but none of that pulling okay not as many creams in this collection but we have two more this one is avi and this one is described as a smoky grayish cream with a hint of red brown zoya loves the word grayish i think they have a couple of these <laughs> that they use that to describe it and this one is definitely a little bit smoky um i think it has a really lovely very strong purple base so it's got the smokiness in it but it's very very purple um which is nice because i think they have a couple on the other side of that spectrum right that are a little more gray um and this one is just it's wonderful i do think this one you need two coats you know it's a really nice formula but you do get a little bit of you know streakiness it's not totally even on one coat which i have no problem with i always wear two coats 
Um, so this one I think is absolutely wonderful and maybe even with that wide brush you might get into a place where you could wear it in just one coat um, depending on your application but this one I had no problems in two coats I think it's lovely I realized I wasn't sure that I was in love with this collection but I think I've worn like half of these polishes so maybe I liked it more than I thought <laughs> so I did wear Avi and I thought it was great um, I think it's a really nice wintry color I like these kind of rich purples so yeah two coats of Avi Okay, the last polish in this collection is another cream. This one is Beverly. It's described as a dark purple toned red cream. This one is a cool toned red cream is what Zoya says. I love this one a lot. I mean, it reminds me a lot of like Briar and some others of these kind of like red berry polishes, but this one definitely has some kind of dustiness to it. Um, it's not like super, super vibrant. I loved wearing this one so much. I also wore this one, like I said, apparently I love this collection. I didn't even know, <laughs> I, or maybe that's what happens when you swatch a collection like six months after it comes out. Not really six months, but you know, it's been a hot minute. Um, but I think this one has a great formula. Again, you probably are gonna wanna build it up in two coats, uh, which I know some of us love those one coat creams from Zoya, but I have no problems with this one <laughs> being two coats. I think two coats is a totally acceptable way to wear a polish. Um, but I thought this one had a really nice formula. It's very much like Brett, had almost an identical formula to Brett, I think because they're both like very white based colors. Um, there's a lot, uh, just, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I am excited to do the comparisons with this one. And the first one that comes to mind when I look at it is definitely Briar. I do think Briar is a little bit more pink, but if there are colors that come to mind for you, please let me know. Um, I'm really excited to just see how this one fits in, this beautiful, beautiful raspberry shade that we have here in Beverly. All right, so I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you're probably not gonna be surprised which ones are my favorites, but as a whole, I like this collection. I didn't love this collection, but I like this collection. I do love that it has kind of broken out of the, you know, palette of polishes that Zoya has done recently. There weren't as many pinks in this, there weren't as many purples. Um, this one felt really different from what they've done in the past, which I loved. I think because each of these shades were so different, um, I didn't necessarily love every single one of them. This is definitely the kind of collection that I imagine people are kind of like picking and choosing their favorites from, which is awesome, um, but it's not like the most cohesive collection in the world. And if you all follow my brand, All About Polish, you know that I love a good cohesive collection. That said, there are some really stellar individual shades in this collection, and so I wanna tell you about my favorites. One of my favorites is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is Meredith this polish y'all it is <laughs> perfect it's just so beautiful i mean i would wear blue in pretty much any finish any color but this one is stunning i love it i love it i love it i love it i feel like it's hard to capture in a swatch photo how it actually looks in person um because just all the particles all the glitters in here they just like meld right together it, it's just stunning it's absolutely stunning Okay, and then I did love Beverly. I was kind of surprised. I wore this one last month, I think in December, and I just loved how it's like dusty, but still super rich. It's beautiful. It's like a really dusty cranberry kind of is how I would describe this one. Um, and I love it. I think it's stellar. Um, it's, you know, I'm excited to compare it to some others in Zoya's collection. I do think it's different, but we'll see how different it is in my comparison video coming up soon. Um, but I, I just really like how rich this one is. I, I loved it on my skin tone. I thought it was very, um, it just like worked. It just worked with my skin tone. So I really enjoyed Beverly. Okay, but I do have to say that Eunice is the most surprising shade in this collection for me. I was not expecting to like this one. Like, honestly, I just, I really wasn't, even though, even though I love these kind of like ugly pretty green shades, something about the shimmer and how this one looked in the bottle and I'd seen a couple swatch photos and I was just like, I am not gonna like that on me. Like I saved it for last <laughs> to swatch because I just didn't think I was gonna like it. But I did. I actually like really, really like this one. I don't know that I like it in the winter time. I don't know that I'm gonna wear it this winter, but I can totally see myself wearing this like next summer, June, July. I think I would really love it. I am excited to compare this one to a couple others from Zoya that are in this kind of like ugly, pretty shimmer family. Um, but this one was the most surprising, I would say. Okay, those are my thoughts on this collection. I would love to know if we have similar favorites. Let me know which ones you grabbed down below. And my comparison video will be coming soon. So if there are any comparisons that you are super excited about, uh, be sure to leave those in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you in the next video.